everybody, welcome to Mice Moment, the best channel for makeup and hair tutorial and also products review. This video was requested by Chase Bennett. First of all, thank you so much for leaving your comment below. I'm gonna show you how to create this perfect sleek back ponytail, so let's get started. So first of all, as ritual, I'm going to apply this miracle leave-in products. Why are you not working? Like, it's still full. Okay, it's still in there. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, it so does not work. So what I'm going to do is pull it out. Rub it on my hands and apply it. Hey, if there's a will, there is a way. Yes, I'm going to apply it all over my hair, all over my hair. Okay, that is just a little bit too much. By the way, last week I cut my hair. But don't worry, it's just toward the ends, nothing major. I'm still able to do a lot of different hairstyles with this amount of hair. So I'm going to divide my hair and have to be more efficient in order to target every string of hair that is tangling. And uh, can you see my waving hair? Because I braided it yesterday and um, it's still wavy, wow. So what are we going to do? is we want to divide our hair in half, like this. You can definitely part your hair in a way that you like. So I'm going to use this professional styling gel. It is a really good gel that does not leave you like white flaky, look like dandruff, you know? So I'm just going to use my brush and lay those baby hair flat, like this. Seriously, my baby hair need extra help and it will go off the roof if I don't do this step. So using a toothbrush that you don't use anymore, a new one, and dip in this gel. It's going to look beautiful throughout the whole day. I want to do this step before I put it in a ponytail because I can really target those strings of hairs. So right now it will look a little bit wet but definitely it will dry and your hair will look like shiny and really pretty not like kind of dirty and oily. I promise that this will be the longest process. Once you get this down and make it perfect, everything will flow through and it's going to look like you got your hair done by professionals. Now use a brush, don't use a comb, and really target every string of hair laying it flat and also brush it the way that you want your hair to be laid at. It will definitely listen to you at this point in time. And I try to stay closely to my scalp as possible. I'm also going to add more gel on my hairline just to make sure it's going to stay sleek and flat and also be in place throughout the whole day. Make sure to don't add too much gel, just add enough to where your baby hair is going to listen to you. Now it's time to grab every string of hair and pull to the back because it is a low ponytail. And I'm going to stay closely to my scalp as possible whenever I'm doing this. And I'm going to grab a two elastic and tie them together because using one, it will have a chance that it's going to fall apart. I do not want to use a hair tie because later on I'm going to use a string of hair and wrap it around and it just look nicer that way if you are using elastic. Grab an inch of hair from the bottom of the ponytails and now we are going to wrap it around and hide the elastic. It's going to make it look extremely professional. Then I'm going to add some of the gel and actually go ahead and smooth out that strings. I just want everything to be attached and there's no loose strings when I'm doing this process. Now it's time to wrap the strings around the band. I'm going to start from the right to the left because my right hand is more dominant. I'm pretty sure if you are left-handed, you found it to be easier from the left to the right. Keep in mind whenever you are wrapping a sections of hair around the ponytail, you want to be as tightly as possible. You don't want any kind of strings that are going to fall apart throughout the day. And each time when I wrap around that band, I actually target on the top. I don't try to wrap in the middle or on the ends. 
keep sticking toward the top like this your goal is to either have the ends on the side or actually the bottom of the ponytail and i'm going to grab a u-shaped bobby pins this is not just a bobby pins but it's actually an opening bobby pins that you're going to attach it on the side and you want to go like diagonally across but just notice that when i go across the things stick out you don't want that to happen so what you're going to do is actually take it a little bit out and try to readjust and stick it toward the top as an angle you would definitely figure out if the bobby pins is secure or not when you're twisting your head side to side and just in case you want this hair to last all day go ahead and stick another bobby pins which i'm doing it right now Girls, we always have to add more protections. So adding some hairspray on there so no loose end will falling apart whenever you are rocking this hairstyle. Seems like I did not capture the footage where I add a lot of hairsprays on top of my head. I do recommend you to do that, especially if you have a lot of baby hair or you in the outdoor and you want your hair to stay perfect in place and it look like you have put no effort on your hair but it's still looking perfect. So here is the completed look. I hope you found this video helpful and learned something new. By the way, there's another two video waiting for you to click because it makes specially for you. If you have any questions, concerns, or comment, comment down below. I love to read them. And don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for more notifications. And as always, love yourselves, stay motivated, peace out.